Good afternoon. Welcome to Bikram Yoga Delray Beach. My name is Ron and welcome to our class. It's going to be a 90 minute version, 26 postures, two breathing exercises. So Jill is going to be taking the class today. She's also one of our instructors here at the studio. So again, before we get started, this is um, a little unusual times we're in right now. So again, you'll be doing it from home. So if you can find a room that's small, if you have some space heaters, bring them in, get them in the room. If not, maybe you have a big bathroom. You can put a shower on, get a little steamy in there, or some infrared heaters if you have them. If not, just do the best you can, and we'll just get through this together. So we're going to start with pranayama breathing, standing deep breathing, inhaling through your nose, exhaling through your mouth, breathing through the back of your throat. So let's set it up. Feet together, knees are locked, stand up nice and straight. Interlock grip, glue your knuckles to your chin. Chin level, empty your lungs. And begin. Inhale. So elbows up side. So chin down. Elbows up. Pull the belly in. Lift the rib cage. Nice straight spine. Head back. Exhale. Blow it out. Knuckles on the chin. Elbows away from the chest. Keep the arms up. Let the elbows touch. Head down. Inhale. For one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it. Head back. Exhale. For one, two, three, four, five six elbows touch good head down inhale so the slower you go the better you'll do so you're just looking for that nice rhythm keep lifting keep inhaling head back exhale drop your head back eyes are open looking towards the back wall let the elbows touch head down inhale for one two three four five six hold it head back exhale for one two three four Five, six, elbows touch. Head down, inhale. You breathe through the back of your throat. You feel that vibration. You should hear a snoring sound. Head back, exhale, ha sound. Imagine a mirror in the ceiling. Fog it up with your breath. Bring your elbows together. Let them touch. Head down, drop the chin, lift the elbows. A very little movement, just the head and the arms. Everything else nice and still. Head back, exhale, let it go. Eyes are open, look towards the back wall, bring the elbows together, let them touch. Head down and hem. Toes, heels together, make sure those knees are locked, pull the quads up, pull the belly and lift the rib cage, look in the mirror. Head back, exhale, drop your head back, keep your arms up high, parallel to the floor, bring the elbows together, let them touch. Head down and hem. One, two, three, four, five, six, hold it. Head back, exhale for one, two, three, four, five, six, elbows touch. Head down, drop the chin, lift the elbows, keep pulling the belly in, look in the mirror, your rib cage should be visible. Head back, exhale, just drop your head back. Eyes open, look towards the back wall, let the elbows touch. Head down, couple more first set, drop the chin, lift the elbows, synchronize the motion with your head and your arms. Head back, exhale, blow it out, knuckles on the chin, elbows away from the chest, keep the arms up, let the elbows touch. One more time, head down, inhale, just drop the chin, lift the elbows, keep pulling the belly in, straight spine, fill your lungs up even more. Head back, exhale, blow it out. Nice, hands, palms, wrists, elbows all touch together. Very good, arms by your side. So you can roll your shoulders, loosen up a little bit, in Bikram Yoga, we always do a second set, always have another chance. So let's set it up again. Feet together, knees locked, stand up straight. Interlock the grip. Knuckles, glue them to your chin. Thumbs press against your throat. Chin level, empty your lungs, and begin. Inhale, so elbows upside. So keep the chin down, elbows up, pull the belly in, lift the rib cage, straight spine. Head back, exhale, blow it out. Just drop your head back. Knuckles on the chin. Point the elbows towards the mirror. Let the elbows touch. Head down. Just drop the chin. Lift the elbows. Suck your stomach in. Look in the mirror. One day, forearms frame your face. Head back. Exhale. Blow it out. Eyes are open. You're looking towards the back wall. Keep the arms up. Elbows touch. Head down. Inhale. I'm trying to increase the capacity. Last is the lungs. Keep lifting. Keep inhaling a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Head back. Exhale. Drop your head back. Eyes open, open the mouth, bring the elbows together, let them touch. 
Head down and inhale. Slow you go. Better you'll do. Keep looking in the mirror. Straight spine. Fill your lungs up even more. Head back. Exhale. Blow it out. Knuckles on the chin. Elbows away from the chest. Bring your elbows together. Let them touch. Head down and inhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it. Head back. Exhale for one, two, three, four, five, six. Elbows touch. Head down and inhale. So you're using your arms like a bellow. So you're forcing the air into the lungs on the inhale. Now drop the head back. Exhale. Use the arms to force the air out. Squeeze every last drop of breath out of your lungs. Head down, drop the chin, lift the elbows. Just the head and the arms, move everything else still. Head back, exhale, blow it out. Eyes open, keep the arms up high. Bring the elbows together, let the elbows touch. Head down, and inhale, just drop the chin, lift the elbows. Keep sucking the stomach and look in the mirror, rib cage visible. Head back, exhale, blow it out. Knuckles on the chin, elbows away from the chest. Bring your elbows together. Let the elbows touch. Head down, last two seconds set, making your best. Inhale till you get dizzy. Straight spine, fill your lungs up even more. Head back, exhale, don't let the chest collapse. Keep the arms up. Bring the elbows together. Let the elbows touch at the end. Good. One more time. Longest inhale of the day. Chin down. Elbows up. Pull the belly in. Lift the rib cage. Stretch your intercostal muscles. Head back. Exhale. Blow it out. Hands, palms, wrists, elbows all touch together. Very good. Arms by your side. So now we begin the asanas. Half moon hands to feet. Adha Chandrasana, Padahasasana. So start with your feet together. Arms overhead side. Interlock grip. Release the index. Cross your thumbs. Stretch up to the ceiling, bend the body right and left several times, back and forth. Each time you come up, try to touch the ceiling. So just a lateral stretch, so right and left, stretch up, reach over, loosen things up, right and left, 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 right and left. And then come back up and stop right in the middle. So look in the mirror, feet together, knees locked, hips forward a little bit, upper body leaning back a couple of inches, arms against yours, lock your hands, glue your hands tight, right up to wrist, no gaps. Stretch up by the waist on the inhale. On the exhale, slowly bend the body to the right side of the room while you're pushing your hips over the left side. So keep your chin up, throat visible. So remember, this is more about the alignment than the depth, so just look in the mirror if you have one and just check things out. So you're trying to keep your shoulders parallel. Usually on this side, you're working that right shoulder, bring it forward a little bit, open up the chest and rib cage. Now bring that left hip forward a little bit, open up the pelvis and hip joints. Weight in the heels, knees locked, squeeze the glutes as tight as you can. Squeeze your arms against your, lock your elbows, glue your hands together, cross your thumbs. Getting close to the end now. Every time you exhale, go deeper. So push and push and push and push and push. And then change. Nice. Stop in the middle. Stretch up on the inhale. Exhale. Body goes to the left. Hips go out to the right. Beyond your flexibility. You should feel a tremendous stretch on that right side. All over, from your fingertips to your toes, inside out, bones to skin, smiling, happy face. So keep your chin up, look in the mirror. Remember alignment before depth, so check your shoulders, make sure they're parallel. So like you're leaning against the wall. So on this side, it's usually that left shoulder. Bring it forward if you need to. Check out that right hip. Make sure it's not going back. Weight in the heels, knees locked, squeeze the glutes tight. Squeeze your arms against your, lock your elbows, glue your hands together, cross your thumbs. Every time you exhale, go a little bit deeper. So push and push and push and push and push. And then change, nice, stop in the middle. Third part, back bending, no fear. Stretch up, head back, relax your neck, keep your eyes open, and trace your fingertips to the back wall. So you can go one ceiling tile at a time. So lock out the knees, squeeze the glutes as tight as you can, weight in the heels. Lower half your body. It's like a tree trunk. It can't be moved. Lift the chest up. Drop the head back. Total spine bending now. Go back. Lean back. Fall back. Way back. More back. And then change. Come on up. Little light head in the back bend. So we go into our first forward bend. Padahastasana. Hands to feet pose. So there's a little U-turn from back bending to forward bend. Spine's not quite loosened up yet. So go ahead. Bend the knees. Let your fingertips touch your towel out in front of your toes. Once the hands touch, you can walk it out. You bend one knee, you lock the other knee. So you just walk in place. Bend one knee, lock the other knee. Try to keep the heels down. Bend one, straighten one, bend one, straighten one, bend one, straighten one. Then you can squat and bounce a few times so you can loosen up those hamstrings. 
So remember, if it's a little colder room, just take your time here. So open up those hamstrings. So bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce. On that last bounce, stay down. Lift the heels up. And just see if you can slip your fingertips under the heels. So the hands are like a shoehorn, five fingers together. Thumb included in that grip. Now see if you can get your baby fingers to touch side by side. Try to wrap your elbows behind the calves. Face touching your shins below your knees. And just slowly, gently start to lift the hips up. And then you start to roll forward a little bit, bringing more weight to your toes. 360 angle stretch. Cox the forehead, cox the toes. So let gravity work on that upper torso. Try to relax through your neck. Let your head hang. Lift the shoulders away from the ears. Focus more on that bicep strength. More weight to the toes. Pull the quads up. Lock the knees. Lock the knees. Lock the knees. And then change. Excellent. Come on up. Arms set come up together on the inhale. And then the arms float down by your side on the exhale. Second set. Half the time. Twice the effort. Toes, heels together. Arms overhead side. Interlock grip. Release the index, cross your thumbs, hips forward, upper body back, chest open, rib cage visible. Stretch up on the inhale, exhale, body goes to the right, hips go out to the left. Second set, half the time, twice the effort. So try to pick up your left off in the first set. So you're push, pushing your hips over the side mirrors, you're stretching your fingertips towards your upper right corner, keep your chin up, look in the mirror, check things out. Lean against the wall, the shoulders, the head, the hips should all touch here. Second set, we're more opened up. We're trying to go deeper, so just push and push and push and push and push, and then change. Stop right in the middle. Stretch up on the inhale. Exhale, body goes left, hips go right. Second set, second side. This is your last chance. Keep your chin up. Look in the mirror. Check things out. Shoulders, hips parallel. Weight in the heels. Knees locked. Squeeze the glutes as tight as you can. Nice stretch for the oblique muscles here. A little bit more opened up. Now look in the mirror. See that half moon shape. Every time you exhale, get a little bit deeper in that stretch. So push and push and push and push and push. And then change. Nice. Stop right in the middle. Third part, second set. Absolutely feel this. Stretch up. Head back. Relax your neck. Keep your eyes open. And trace your fingertips all the way back. Second set. More opened up. So lift the chest up. Drop the head back. Rolling over barrel. Go back, lean back, fall back, way back, more back, and then change. Excellent. Come on up. Light head in the back bend, right in the forward bend. So go ahead, bend the knees if you need to. Let fingertips touch your towel out in front of your toes, and you walk it out a second time. So bend one knee, lock the other. So just walk in place. So let the body open up. Just do what you can do today. So right and left, right and left, right and left. Squat and bounce a few more times. Loosen up those hamstrings a little bit more. So bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce. Final bounce, stay down. Lift the heels up. Slip the fingertips under your heels. Baby fingers touch together. Wrap your elbows behind the calves. Think about trying to touch your elbows together. Face touching your shin below your knees. And just slowly, gently start to lift the hips back up. Start to roll forward a little bit more, bringing more weight to your toes. So from the side, the body looks like a sandwich. Stomach's on the thighs, chest on the knees, forehead's touching the shin below the knees. So there's no gaps, no light, no air. More weight to the toes, pull the quads up, lock the knees, lock the knees, lock the knees, and then change. Excellent. Come on up. Arms that come up together. Inhale. Arms float down by your side on the exhale. Next posture is called Ukitasana, awkward pose, three parts. Part one, right foot step it out to the right, six inches, so your toes and heels are exactly parallel. H position. So if you'd like, you can measure it out. Use your, your fist as a gauge, so two, fit, two fists between the feet. Hands slide up and down the length of the foot. And just look out in front. If you have that mirror, make sure the feet are straight. Don't let the toes turn in or up. Now bring your arms up parallel. Five fingers together. Elbows locked. Flat palms. Inhaling breath. Sit down. You're sitting right down in an imaginary kitchen chair. So the hips are going towards the back of the room. The fingertips go towards the front. So that'll help with your balance. You check out your alignment. Hands, knees, feet, ankles, same distance. Fingertips right in line with the shoulders. It's a tough part of this posture. You're trying to get your shoulders right over the line of the hips. So keep the weight in the heels. Suck your stomach in. Upper body leaning back. Get that feeling going to fall down backwards here. And then change. Come on up. Second part. Way up on the toes. Ballerina style. Don't even blink. Just focus on one point. Concentrate. Meditate. 
inhaling breath, sit down tops of the toes. Imagine your head and your hips are sliding down a wall. As soon as you bend the knees, higher than the toes. So get way up there. Heels up, knees up, heels up, knees up, heels up, knees up. Fingertips right in line with the shoulders. Shoulders right over the line of the hips. Suck the stomach in. Tighten the abdominal wall. You can stay here all day. And then change. Nice. Come on up. Heels back down. Keep your arms up for the third part. Come up in the toes a little bit. Bring your knees together. Inhaling breath. And then you sit. Try to count to 10 on the way down. Nice and slow into this one. Protect your knees. Now, if you do lose the balance, hands can touch for a half a second. Find the balance. Bring them back up. Arms are parallel, thighs are parallel, straight spine, box shape in the side. Knees healthy, go ahead and bounce, otherwise just hover off the heels, so bounce if you're ready, bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce, freezing it up, bounce, and then you change. Right back up the wall slowly, good. Right foot back to left, arms down by your side. So remember in the standing series between postures, bring your feet back together, let your arms hang by your side, easy, normal, breathing through your nose. Default position for the entire standing series. Second set, let's try it again. Right foot steps out to right. Find that footprint in your towel. Toes, heels parallel. Bring your arms up. Elbows lock. Flat palms. Five fingers together. Inhaling breath. Sit down. Get right down that chair. Hips go towards the back. Fingertips towards the front. Work on your balance. Hands, knees, feet, ankles. Same distance. Fingertips right in line with the shoulders. Keep the weight in the heels. Suck your stomach in more. Upper body leaning back more. Try to fall down backwards. And then change. Excellent. Come on up. Second part. Way up in the toes. High in the first set. One day, those little toes don't even touch. Inhaling breath. Sit down. Tops of the toes. Your head, your hips are sliding down that wall. As soon as you bend the knees, high in the toes. So get way up there. Heels up, knees up. So you feel that burn the thighs. Might even start to shake on this one. Just hang in there. You can do it. A few more seconds here. Try to freeze there. And then change. Come on up. Heels back down. Keep your arms up, third part. Up in the toes a little bit. Bring your knees together. Inhaling breath. And then sit. Take your time. Squeeze the knees. Protect your knees all the way down. Go slow, go slow, go slow. Arms parallel, thighs parallel, straight spine, box shape. Again, if the knees are healthy, you can bounce. Otherwise, just hover off the heels. So bounce if you're ready. Bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce. Freezing it up, bounce. And then you change. Looks good. Come right back up. Right foot back to left, arms down. So one more posture and we get our first water break. Next one's called Garasana Eagle. A little confusing in the mirrors, if you have mirrors. So identify right and left, don't mix them up. Start with your feet together, arms overhead side, hands prayer. Deep inhaling breath, right arm on the left, cross twist, sweat rope. So cross first the elbows, again at the wrist. Try to relax your shoulders, work on those elbows, keep pulling them down. One day your fingertips are below your nose couple of inches away from your face. Now sit down in the chair and start to bounce and bounce and bounce. Stay down in the chair and then you wrap the right leg up and over your left leg. So you're trying to wrap that foot all around. One day you see five toes in the mirror. So the knees go back to the right, upper body to the left, hands, elbows, knees, ankles are right down the center. As you start to open up on this side, Maybe that left hip can go forward a little bit more. So look in the mirror, check it out. Are the hips level? Try to square your shoulders to the mirror. Pull the belly in. Upper body leaning back. Freeze. And then change. Arms over head side. Deep inhaling breath. Left arm on the right. Cross twist. Wet ropes. So relax the shoulders. Work on the elbows. Pull them down. Fingertips below your nose. Sit down in the chair and bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce. Stay in the chair. Left leg up and over the right. So wrap it, hook it, squeeze it, twist it. Knees go back to the left, upper body to the right. Hands, elbows, knees, ankles right down the middle. As you open up on this side, work on that right hip. Bring it forward a little bit more. Make sure the hips are level. Just try to square your shoulders more. Pull the belly in more. Lean back more. And then change. Second set. Here we go. Arms overhead. Deep inhaling breath. Right arm on the left. Cross twist. Wet ropes. So work on the shoulders, try to relax them, pull the elbows down, fingertips below your nose. Sit down in the chair and bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce. Stay in the chair, right leg up and over. So wrap the foot around. If you can get that little toe around, the rest will follow. Once that foot's wrapped around, point the toes down, no lighter air between the step and calf. 
hands, elbows, knees, ankles, right down the middle. If you're losing your balance, spine needs to be straighter, upper body leaning back more, foot slipping out, sit down more, be the shortest person in the room, and then change. Nice. Arms overhead. Deep inhaling breath, left arm on the right, cross twist. So relax your shoulders, work on the elbows, use the muscles you need, let everything else relax. Sit down in the chair and bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce. Stay down in the chair, left leg up and over the right. So wrap that foot around, point the toes down, no gaps between the instep and the calf. Hands, elbows, knees, ankles right down the middle. Posture's opening all the major joints of your body. Wrist, elbow, shoulders, hips, knees, ankles. Level the hips. Square the shoulders one more time. And then change. Arms overhead side. Hands prayer. Arms down. It's party time already. So quick drink of water if you need it. So the next three postures are balancing series pose. We'll be standing on one leg. The main focus of the next three is to lock the knee. So again, fairly new. You've been away for a while. Have some injuries. Don't be concerned. We're trying to go all the way to final pose. You keep that knee locked. You're getting the benefits right there. First, the series, Dhani Amana, Johnny Shirasa, standing head to knee. It's a long one. It's a whole minute in the first set, so pace yourself in these long ones. Start slow. Finish strong. Shift weight over your left leg, lock it out. Round over, pick up your right foot. Interlock grip just below the toes, right around the ball of your right foot. So that grips to the webbing, same sort of a grip like you're hoisting something over a fence. Now look in the mirror, check out that left knee. It must be locked solid, concrete, one piece, unbroken, no knee. Knee locked out, big toe glued to the floor, kick that right leg out, parallel to the floor. Not higher, not lower. So pull the toes back, kick the heel out. Turn the legs into a perfect upside down L. Now if you can hold it still, next step, you start working those elbows down right beside the calf. Eventually, the elbows go below the calf. If you can do all that, you want to finish it, tuck your chin, suck the stomach in, round the spine, forehead and the knee at the very end, and then you change. Come out the exact opposite way. Hands are sweaty, you can wipe them off, so keep that hand towel close by or wipe your hands on your pant legs. Let's try the other side now. Shift weight over right leg. Lock it, round over, pick up the left foot. Remember the grip to the webbing. Now, if that puts too much pressure in your lower spine, just place your hands alongside your knee. Now look in the front, check out that knee, make sure it's locked. If it'll stay locked, go ahead and kick that left leg out. Parallel to the floor, not higher, not lower. So you kick the heel out, pull the toes back, feel the stretch around the Achilles tendon. Now if you can hold it still, the next part, you start working the elbows down. You hug them right beside the calf. That works on your stability. If you can get the elbows to go below the calf, you have that green light, you can finish it. Tuck the chin, round the spine, forehead and the knee at the very end, and then change. Come out the exact opposite way. Quick little back bend here. Hands on the hips, fingers down, thumbs out. Push your hips forward, drop your head back. Half a second stretch. Second set, half the time. Twice the effort now. Shift the weight back over, left leg, lock it. Round over, pick up the right. Interlock grip below the toes, right around the ball of the foot. Grip to the webbing, thumbs included. Look in the mirror, check that left knee. Make sure it stays locked. Big toe, glue it down. Part two, kick that right leg out, parallel to the floor. Not higher, not lower. Feel the stretch on the leg, cramp top the thigh, that's normal. Part three, if you're ready, you start working those elbows down. Hug them beside the calf. Once the elbows go below the calf, then you can finish it. Tuck the chin, suck the stomach in, round the spine, put it in the knee, and then change. Come out the exact opposite way. That's very nice, Jill. Again, if you need to, wipe off your hands. Let's try the final side now. Shift the weight over right leg, round over, pick up the left. Interlock the grip just below the toes. Grip to the webbing, thumbs included. Look in the mirror, check that knee. So it's all about the foundation here. Keep it solid. Part two, only if you're ready, you kick that left leg out. Shaking, wobbling, bending, posture hasn't even started. So work on that knee the entire time. Once you have that perfect L shape, then you're ready for part three. Start working the elbows down. Hug them beside the calf. Once the elbows go below, then you can finish it. Tuck the chin, round the spine, put your forehead right in the knee at the very end of this one. 
and then you change, come out the exact opposite way. Very nice, another quick little back bend here. Hands on the hips, fingers down, push your hips forward, drop your head back for a half a second. And we're ready to move on. Danyamana, Danyarasana, standing bow point, not a long one. So start with your feet together, right elbow to the waist, hand out to the side, palm up, and just reach down and grab your right ankle from the inside, right around the crease of your ankle. Thumb with the fingers, bring your knees back together, let them touch. Left arm up overhead, try to touch the ceiling all the way up. Stretch up on the inhale, and then charge the body forward on the exhale. So you're stretching and kicking simultaneously 50-50. So don't stop kicking. You're trying to kick the foot out of the back of the hand. So it doesn't matter how far you go in these postures, go the right way. So the right way in this series, you lock that knee. Drop the body down the hip joint, lock the knee, big toe glued down, left foot straight. Shoulders are in line, right shoulder behind the head, stretch the left one forward. Try to kick the foot out of the back of the hand, you're almost there, so just kick and kick and kick and kick and kick and then change. Let's try the other side. Feet together, left elbow to the waist, hand out to the left side. Grab your left ankle from the inside, thumb with the fingers, let your knees touch back together, right arm up overhead. Stretch up on the inhale, charge the body for an exhale. So it doesn't matter if you can do 1% of this posture, 99% of this posture, as long as you go in the right way, you get 100% benefit. So you keep sliding that right shoulder forward, so your chin's right over your shoulder, left one's behind the head, shoulders are in line. Fingertips cover your right eye. Your head should be level. See the head start to tilt. See if we can drop that left hip down a little bit. Look in the mirror. That left knee wants to flare out to the side. Straight back and up. Toes appear right in the center. Keep dropping the body down more. You're trying to kick the foot out of that back of the hand. You're almost there. So kick and kick and kick and kick and kick. And then change. Second set. Half the time. Twice the effort. Feet together. Right elbow to the waist. Hand out to the side. Palm up. Grab your right ankle from the inside. Thumb with the fingers. Knees touch. Left arm up. All the way up. Stretch up on the inhale. Charge the body forward on the exhale. Stretching and kicking equally. 50-50. Don't stop kicking. Second set. We're a little bit more open up. We're trying to go deeper. One day you're going to lock out both knees. That standing split. You're almost there. So go for it. So kick and kick and kick and kick and kick. And then change. Nice. One more side. Feet together. Left elbow to the waist. Hand out to the side. Palm up. Grab your left ankle from the inside. Thumb with the fingers. Knees touch together. Right them up. All the way up. Stretch up on the inhale. Charge the body forward on the exhale. Stretching and kicking equally. 50-50. Don't stop kicking. See if you can slide that right shoulder forward more. Left shoulder is behind the head. Shoulders are in line. Second set, second side. That's your last chance today, so keep going now. Try to kick the foot right out of the back of the hand. So kick and kick and kick and kick and kick. And then change. Nice. One more balance and series posture to go. To learn us in the balance and six. So now you move to the back of your towel. Same setup as half moon. Start with your feet together. Arms over head side. In a lock grip. Release your necks, cross your thumbs. Hips forward, upper body back, chest open, rib cage visible. Step forward on your right foot. Shift all the way over your right leg. Point the toes left. Inhaling breath, go. Arms, head, chest, leg, everything parallel to the floor. Look out underneath your arms, 8, 10 feet. Front row, try to see your knee in the mirror. Arms against you, lock your elbows, glue your hands, cross your thumbs, stretch and kick as hard as you can. And then change, come on back. Keep your arms up. Now step forward on your left foot, shift all the way over, point the toes to your right foot, inhaling breath, go, right into it. Arms, head, chest, leg parallel. From the side, the ball looks like a capital letter T, like Tom, not a broken umbrella here. So squeeze your arms against your ears, point the toes to the back wall, stretch your fingertips from here, stretch and kick as hard as you can, and then change. Come on back. Arms float down, heart rate's coming up. Heart should be beating like a drum by now. That's the intention is to repose. We're trying to work on the heart muscle, trying to strengthen it up, especially the lower two chambers of the heart. We'll do another set. We'll slow things down right after this. So here we go, back of the towel. Feet together, arms overhead side. Interlock grip, release your necks, cross your thumbs. Hips forward, upper body back, chest open. Step forward, right foot. Shift all the way over. Point the toes left. 
Inhaling breath, go right into it. Squeeze your arms against your ears. Lock your elbows. Glue your hands together. Cross your thumbs. Point the toes to the back wall. Stretch your fingertips. Stretch and kick as hard as you can. And then change. Come on back. One more side. Make up your mind. Ten-second posture. You can do this. Step forward, left foot. Shift the weight over. Point the toes right. Inhaling breath. Go. Right into the pose. Arms, head, chest, leg, parallel to the floor. Look out underneath your arms. Every muscle in your body is contracted tight. Now just stretch and kick as hard as you can. And then change. Come on back. Arms slow down by your side. So let's slow things down a little bit. Turn 90 degrees. So excuse me. We're going to just step off to the left side of the towel. Nope. We're going to turn the towel and set. So move to the left side. Down the amount of it, pot to pot, a Paschimottanasana, now standing separate legs, stretching. So start on the left, feet together. Inhaling breath, arms overhead, side, hands, prayer. On the exhale, step right. Big step in the first set, four feet. Arms down, parallel. So again, if you have mirrors, your wrists and feet line up now. Heels out, toes in, slightly pigeon-toed. Inhaling breath, and fold in half. Go slow. First thing you want to check out is the hips. See if they're level. Real tight today, you can let your fingertips touch the floor out in front. Fingertips first, then the elbows. Start bending the elbows towards the back. Everything feels pretty good. Then you go for the feet of the heels, preferably the heels. You draw a line between your toes. You're trying to work your forehead to that spot. So first thing, make sure those quads are pulled up tight. They need to be fully engaged. Once the quads are engaged, then you can safely stretch the backs of your legs. Then you can feel that stretch up in your hips. And you can start to work in your lower spine, your middle spine, your upper spine. Whole spine's opening up. Eventually, the whole body's opening up. Give another good pull. See if the forehead will touch the floor. And then change. Nice. Come on up. Bend that right knee a little. Right foot to left. Arms overhead. Arms down by your side. So if you haven't been able to touch, try a bigger step. If you're touching down that first set, try a smaller step in the second. Try to challenge yourself more. So here we go again. Inhaling breath, arms overhead, side, hands, prayer. On the exhale, step right, three, four feet, whatever you need now. Arms down, parallel, heels out, toes in. Inhaling breath, now fold in half. Still tight, hands on the floor, otherwise you go for the feet of the heels. Preferably the heels. Pick your line, start to pull. 360 angle stretch, cocks the forehead, cocks the toes. So let gravity work in that upper torso. Try to relax through your neck. Let your head hang. See if you can lift the shoulders away from the ears. Start to focus more on that bicep strength. Bring your elbows right against your shins. Let your head hang. See if the forehead will touch the floor. And then change. Excellent. Come on up slow. Bend that right knee a little. Right foot to left. Arms overhead. Arms down by your side. If you need a little drink, take a quick sip right now, right before triangle. Otherwise, just be still. So let's set up the triangle. Left side of the towel. Start with the feet together. Inhaling breath, arms overhead, side, hands, prayer. On the exhale, step right, four feet again, arms down, parallel. Now this time, turn your right foot to the side. Turn your left toes in a little bit. Heels, same line. So you can use the edge of your mat for your alignment. And then you bend that right knee and you sit. And you bounce and you bounce and bounce to that thighs parallel. The knees directly over the ankle, spines right in the center, hips are level. Now turn the arms, same time. Right elbow against the right knee. Eventually, the fingertips fall between big toe, second toe. No pressure in that right hand. Chin over your left shoulder. Look up to your left thumb. Palms face the mirror. Profile the face of the mirror. Stretch that left arm up and back. Roll that left hip down. Lock out that left knee. Edge that left foot's glued to the floor. And then you change. Now straighten out the right leg. Come on up. Turn the right foot to the side. Turn the left foot to the other side. And then you bend that left knee. And sit. And you bounce. And you bounce. We're still stretching those hamstrings. They're still tight. Now get down that chair and stay there. Now turn the arms, same time. Elbow against the knee. Fingertips eventually fall between big toe, second toe. Chin over your right, over your right shoulder now. Look up at your right thumb. Palms face the mirror. Profile the face the mirror. Stretch that right arm up and back. Roll that right hip down. Lock out that right knee. Edge that right foot's glued down on the floor. And then you change. Come on up. Bend the right knee a little, right foot to left, arms overhead, arms down. Very good. 
Very demanding posture, working every part of the body here, every bone, muscle, ligament, tendons, joints, organs, even the glands. This is the master pose of the standing series. So let's try it again, left side. Inhale in breath, arms overhead side, hands prayer. On the exhale, step right, big step, four feet, arms down immediately parallel. Just turn the right foot, turn the left toes in, heel same line, bend the right knee. Balance if you need to, get down that chair and stay there. Now just turn the arm, same time. Right elbow, right knee, fingertips fall between big toe, second toe, no pressure in that right hand. Chin over your left shoulder, look right up to your left thumb. Palms face the mirror, profile the face the mirror, left arm up and back, roll that left hip down, lock out that left knee, edge that left foot's glued down the floor, and then you change. Come on up, looking good. Straighten out the right leg, turn the foot to the side, turn the other foot to the other side, bend that left knee and sit, and bounce, and bounce, and bounce, and bounce, and bounce, get down that chair and stay there, and turn the arms, same time. Elbow against the knee, fingertips just barely reach the toes. Chin over your right shoulder, look right up to your right thumb. Palms face the mirror, profile the face the mirror. Stretch that right arm up and back, open up the chest and rib cage. Roll that right hip down and forward like spine, twisting pose. And then change, excellent, come on up. Bend that right knee, right foot to left, arms overhead, arms down. Very good, so the tough stuff's over. Down the amount of the pata John Shirasa now standing separate like head to knee. Second head to knee posture, now we're setting up on the left side again, a little bit easier now, working with gravity. Inhaling breath, arms overhead side, hands prayer, cross your thumbs. On the exhale, step right, three feet minimum, long legs, bigger step. Pick up your toes, pivot on the heels, all the way around. Exaggerate that twist, so just keep bumping that left hip forward five, ten times so the hips are parallel. Tuck your chin, suck your stomach in, slowly lower down. So remember the posture begins when the forehead's touching your knee, not your chin, not your nose, forehead to knee contact. So you bend that right knee up as much as you need to so that can happen. If you're losing your balance, just open your hands up, fingertips alongside your toes. Just feel that stretch of your shoulders. Make sure your elbows are locked out. Your back foot, left foot should be turned 45. Left heel on the floor, left knee locked. Bend that right knee as much as you need to. Throat's choked, hard to breathe. Throat's the passageway here. And then you change. Come on up, lock the knee quick. Hands back in prayer. Arms head come up together on the inhale. Then you pivot to the side. And you pivot all around to the other side. And exaggerate that twist again. So now you want to just keep bumping that right hip forward as much as you can and keep it there. Tuck your chin, suck your stomach in, slowly lower down. As you go into the posture, you're trying to drive that left hip down. You're trying to point that left hip up so the hips stay in line. Eyes are open, the throat's choked. It's hard to breathe here. So you keep that knee bent, if you keep that head in any contact, the right foot should be turned out, 45, right heel on the floor, right knee locked, suck your stomach in more, tuck your chin more, suck your stomach in, try to round the spine more, work the forehead higher than the knee, and then you change, come on up, lock the knee quick. Hands back in prayer, face side, and then pivot back to the front, right foot back to left, arms down. So remember, we come out of these postures, the exact opposite way we go in, so we never miss a step along the way, any pose, any time. So one more set. Inhaling breath, arms overhead side, hands prayer. On the exhale, step right, three feet minimum. Long legs, bigger step. Pick up your toes, pivot on the heels, exaggerate that twist again, so you want to crank that left hip forward as much as you can, try to get those hips in perfect alignment. Tuck your chin, suck your stomach in, slowly lower down. Eyes are open, the throat's choked, it's hard to breathe. Throat's the passageway. So as long as the forehead's on the knee, fingertips out in front of your toes. See if you can get your thumbs to cross over. See if the heads will go right into prayer now. Tuck your chin more, round the spine more. Try to make space between the chest and the thigh. And then you change. Come on up, lock the knee quick. Hands prayer, face the side. Pivot front. Pivot all around the other side now. Exaggerate that twist one last time. So just crank that right hip forward as much as you can and keep it there. Tuck your chin, suck your stomach in, slowly lower down. So you're trying to drive that right hip down. You're trying to point that left hip up that keeps the hips in perfect alignment. Back foot, right foot's turned out, 45. Right heel on the floor, right knee locked. Chin tucked into the chest, throat choked, stimulating the thyroid, the parathyroid gland here. Suck your stomach in more, try to round the spine more, see if you can work the forehead higher than the knee, and then you change. Come on up. Lock the knee quick, hands back in prayer, 
pivot, pivot, right foot to left, arms down. So turn towards the front, we finish off with tree and toe. So we start off with tree pose, Tadasana. Start with the feet together, shift your weight over your left leg, pick up your right foot with your left hand. So you can use two hands on this one, one on the shin, one on the foot, line it up. So you're trying to make your adjustments right at the start, you're trying to line the heel up with the belly button. So most of us, that heel needs to go a little bit more to the right. Then place your right hand on your right knee and start to gently push that knee down and back. So one day the knees are lined on the side, opening up that, that right hip joint. Now you can bring the right hand to prayer right over your heart. The foot doesn't slip, you can bring your left hand to prayer, namaskar. Look in the mirror, spine grows like a tree in this one. Don't even blink, just focus on one point. Concentrate, meditate, try to freeze there. And then change, nice. Shift weight over left leg, pick up your right foot. Oh, excuse me, the other way. Pick up your left foot. Sole the foot, facing the ceiling, the heels close to center. Usually a little bit more to the left on this side, left hand, left knee, gently push that knee down and back. Get the knees in line, open up that left hip joint. Left hand to prayer first. If the foot doesn't slip, bring your right hand to prayer. Look in the mirror, spine grows like a tree. So the hips are level, the shoulders are square, the stomach's pulled in, nice straight spine, don't even blink, and then change, nice, left leg down. Now we're going into toe stand, Padagustasana. If the knees are healthy, the hips are open. Otherwise, you do another tree. Starts off the same way. Pick up your right foot with your left hand. Sole the foot, face the ceiling, comfortably up in the thigh. If you stay in tree pose, try to bring the foot a little bit higher. Now, if you're ready for toe, hands prayer. Gently bend forward from the lower spine. Let your fingertips touch the floor. Little weight in the hands, up in the toes. Then you bend that left knee. Sit all the way down, hips touch the heel. Then you sweep the hands to the side, knees parallel to the floor. Bring your gaze out about four feet. Just remember too much going on in the mirror. And when you're ready, if you're ready, work the hands in prayer, left and the right, right over your heart. Concentrate, meditate, freeze, and then change. Nice, push back up. Back up to tree. Tree white foot toe to come up, and then change. Good, let's try the other side. Shift the weight over right, pick up the left. Maybe a little bit more opened up on this side. So remember, toe stand, not an advanced posture. As long as the knees are healthy, the hips are open, you can start this one. So if you're ready, hands prayer. Gently bend forward. Fingertips touch the floor. Little weight in the hands. Up in the toes, bend that right knee. Sit all the way down, hips touch the heel. Sweep the hands to the side, knees parallel. Just bring your gaze out about the front of your mat. Find that balance point if and when you're ready. Start lifting the fingertips off the floor. Bring the left hand to prayer first and the right, right over your heart. Concentrate, meditate, freeze, and then change. Nice. Push back up, up to tree we go, and then change. Very nice job. That's it for standing series. Have a little drink of water if you like. Relaxing mats and towels, savasana, feet to the back wall. So this first of us, a nice long one. You have two minutes, so just try to relax. Working hard in that standing series, heart rate should be elevated. You got a chance to let everything settle down. Savasa, dead body pose. So once you've had your water, just try to be still for a couple more minutes. Arms are by your side, your palms face up. Fingers might curl a little bit, elbows might bend a little bit, that's okay. Let your toes flop out to the side and just relax. Working hard in that standing series, heart rate should be elevated. Now you have some time to settle it down. So try to bring the focus right to your breathing. Abdomen is rising on the inhale. Abdomen is falling on the exhale. Let everything else go. So 
just try to keep that focus on the breathing the entire time. So Bikram calls Savasana Energy Gas Station. This is a chance to fill up your energy tank. So this first one is two minutes throughout the floor series. You get a 20 second Savasana after every posture. And in between poses, you just try to be perfectly still, no extra movements. So let's begin Pavana Muktasana, wind removing pose. Bend your right knee. Interlock the grip just below the knee. Same grip you use for standing head to knee, right up to webbing, thumbs included. So first thing, pull the knee way out to right, clear those lower ribs that stick out, and then pull the knee back in towards your shoulder. Try to tuck your chin a little bit, neck flat, so your gaze is way down, lower part of that back wall. You're trying to keep the shoulders down, especially the left one. Keep your elbows close. Use your biceps to pull. Make sure that left calf touches. Flex that left foot if you need to. Give it a good strong pull and then freeze there. And then you change. Good, right leg down. Now bend the left knee. Interlock the grip just below the knee. Remember the grip to the webbing. Practice the grip. Pull the knee out to the left. Clear those lower ribs and then back in. Tuck your chin a little bit. Neck flat. Bring your gaze down. Try to keep the shoulders down, especially the right one on this side. Elbows are close to the body. The biceps are doing the work. Make sure that right calf touches. Flex that right foot if you need to. Give it a good strong pull and then freeze. And then change. Nice. Left leg down. Bend both knees. Grab opposite elbows if you're able to. Can't quite get to the elbows just yet. Go for the forearms or wrist. Feet side by side, not crossed. Tuck your chin a little bit. Neck flat. You're looking right at your kneecaps now. So try to squeeze the knees together, then squeeze the knees down to the chest, flattening out your entire spine, cox of the neck. One day in the future, when your skeletal system improves enough, consistent yoga practice, entire spine's on the floor. So give it a strong pull and then freeze. And then you change, looking good. Both legs down, heels together, toes flop out to the side, and relax. So bring that focus right back to the breathing. Heart, lungs working together. Perfect marriage between the heart and the lungs. Second set, let's try it again. Bend the right knee. Interlock the grip below the knee. Pull the knee out. Clear the ribs. Pull the knee in. Tuck your chin a little bit. Neck flat. Eyes open, throat choked, hard to breathe, throat's the passageway. Second set, one more open up. We're trying to go deeper. You're trying to get that knee to touch your shoulder. Not there yet, pull harder. You're pulling so hard, you should feel a pinch in that right hip joint. Pressure in the abdomen, massaging, stimulating, ascending colon. Give it a strong pull and then freeze. And then you change. Good, right leg down. Bend your left knee. Interlock grip below the knee. Pull the knee out. Clear the ribs, pull the knee in. Tuck your chin a little bit, neck flat. Eyes open. Feel that pinch in the left hip joint, pressure in the abdomen, massaging, stimulating, descending colon. Give it another strong pull, and then freeze. And then change, left leg down. Bend both knees, grab opposite elbows. Remember which form was on top in the first set, switch it up for the second. So usually that'd be a non-dominant form on top. So try to squeeze the knees together, squeeze them down to the chest, flatten out your entire spine. So we have a nice, tight, compact body from the side. Massaging, stimulating, transverse colon. So give it a strong pull and then freeze. And then change, both legs down. Heels together, let your toes flop out to the side, palms face up, relax. So we're going to be doing lots of sit-ups throughout the floor postures. So if you don't have any back issues, bring your feet together, flex your feet, arms overhead, cross your thumbs, inhaling breath, quick sit-up, double exhale, touch the toes, forehead to knees. 
Turn around, lie down on your stomach, face the mirror for spine strengthening series. Four back bending parts in a row. We start off with Bhujangasana Cobra. So your fingertips right up to the tops of your shoulders. Baby fingers line up the deltoids. Five fingers together, nice flat palms. Bring your feet together, heels together. Press your hips down, press your feet down, stretch your chin forward, inhale and in breath. Now lift your head up, chest up, elbows, dig them in the waist. Peel the chest up towards the ceiling where the eyes go, the body follows. Keep looking up, lifting up, come all the way up, only your belly button is touching here. And then you change, nice chin touches, turn the head to the right. Arms by your side, palms up, big toes touch, heels flop out, relax. So remember, we're not trying to do a push-up in this one. The hands are there to keep us from tipping over. We're trying to work the lower part of the spine. So work the lower part of the spine, and you lock the lower half of the body down. So you push your hips and thighs down. You're pushing your inceps down. Your legs are so tight in this one, the kneecap shouldn't touch. So let's try it again. Fingertips, tops of the shoulders. Baby fingers line up with the deltoids. Nice flat palms, very little weight in the hands. Stretch your chin forward. Bring your feet together, heels together. Inhale in breath, lift the head up, chest up, eyes up, look up, where the eyes go, body falls, so very little weight in the hands, use that lower spine strength to lift, now press your feet down, press the hips down, peel the chest up, lift up, come all the way up, trapezius muscles visible in the mirror, and then change, excellent, chin touches, turn the head to the left, right on the towel, relax, big toes touch, let the heels flop out, just let go now. On this series now, when we come out of the posture, you let your chin touch the floor first, then turn the head to the side. So you don't want to put any extra pressure on the cervical part of the spine by turning your head too soon. Remember, we come out of the postures the exact opposite way we go in. We never miss a step along the way. So we've worked the lower part of the spine. Now I'm going to work the upper part of the spine, the salabasa, locust pose. So keep your arms straight, but flip the hands over, palms face the floor. Lift the hips up, work the arms underneath. Spread your fingers. Make sure the baby fingers touch. Try to grip your towel with the fingertips. Try to engage that upper body strength. Stretch your chin forward. Relax the left leg. Lock the right leg. Inhaling breath. Right leg. Lift it up. Minimum 45 degrees. That's nice. Point the toes right to the back wall. Sole the foot. Face in the ceiling. The knees lock. The hip bones on the form. That leg's perfectly still. And then change. Right leg down. Relax the right. Lock the left. Inhaling breath. Lift it up. 45, half of 90. So you point the toes to the back wall, sole the foot's face to the ceiling, that knee joint's locked, the hip bone stays on the form, that leg's perfectly still. And then you change, nice, left leg down. Readjust, try to get those elbows further between the hips, it's slipped out. Mouth on the towel, zip up the legs, inhaling breath, both legs, lift them up. Not about the height in this one, just point your toes and lock your knees and just don't give up. You just struggle. You hang in there. You can do this one. Just grip your towel, that Tiger Clark grip. You've got a few more seconds here. Last three, last two, last one. And then change. Very nice, Joe. Flip the palms. Turn the head to the right. Left ear on the towel. You notice the heart rate comes up very quickly in that third part. So see how fast you can settle things down. Remember, marriage between the heart and the lungs. So you have to focus more on the breathing. Let's try to settle things down. Mouth closed. Whenever you find it hard to breathe, remember your throat's the passageway. Everything under your control. So let's try it again. Lift the hips back up. Get the arms underneath. Spread your fingers. Grip your towel. Tiger claw grip. Stretch your chin forward. Relax the left leg. Lock the right leg. Inhaling breath, right leg lifted up, minimum 45, half of 90. Point the toes more, lock the knee tighter, hip bone stays on the form. Now just keep that leg perfectly still, and then change, right leg down. Relax the right, lock the left, inhaling breath, lift it up. Point the toes, lock the knee, sole the foot's face to the ceiling, hip bone stays on the form, that leg's perfectly still, and then change, left leg down. Readjust. Grip your towel, mouth on the towel, uncomfortable stretch in the elbows, very uncommon stretch. It goes away after a while. Zip up the legs, inhale in breath, both legs, lift them up. Doesn't matter if you come up a half inch on this one, that'll still work. Just don't give up. 
struggle. You can do it. You're almost there. A few more seconds here. Last three. Last two. Last one. And then change. Excellent. Flip the palms. Turn the head to the left. Right on the towel. Relax. As soon as you come out of that posture, you can feel that tingling in your fingertips. Blood flow. Return back down to the arms. Give them that pins and needles sensation. We call this the tourniquet effect. So we actually do this throughout the entire class. Black and blood flow. Various parts of your body as well as your organs. Come out of the posture. That oxygen-rich blood is flushing back down through, healing, nourishing along the way. So we've worked the lower spine. We've worked the upper spine. Now we'll work the middle part of the spine. And pornus alibus, a full locus pose. Arms out to the side. Airplane wings. Toes, heels together. Legs, hips, tight, solid, concrete, one piece, meditate, locus tail. Stretch your chin forward, inhale in breath, now lift everything up, arms up, head up, chest up, legs up. Sweep your arms up and back, 747 taken off. Look up towards the ceiling, when the eyes go, the body falls, keep looking up, lifting up, you're trying to get right up on those hip bones, and then change. Chin touches, turn the head to the right, left ear on the towel, arms by your side, palms face up, big toes touch, heels flop out, relax. So we switch the breathing around this one. We use what's called 80-20 breathing. You take that full inhaling breath on the way up. Once you're up, you switch over. 20% in, 20% out. So it's a shallow breath using the top portion of your lungs. 80% of your lungs are full. That'll keep the chest lifted longer in this one. So let's try it again. Arms out to the side. Toes, heels together. Legs, hips, tight, solid, concrete, one piece. Stretch your chin forward, inhale and breath, now lift everything up, arms up, head up, chest up, legs up, arms up and back, 747 taking off. Once the arms and chest up as high as you go, see if you can get those legs up a little bit more. So look up, kick up, see if you can get right up on those hip bones, and then change, nice. Chin touches, turn the head to the left now. Big toes stay together, let the heels flop out to the side and just relax completely. So we've worked each part of the spine independently. Now work the entire spine and floor above. Done your asana. So bend your knees, grab your feet below your toes. Your hands are like hooks. Your wrists are straight. Now this one's a 20 second posture, twice as long as the last one. So you need to pace yourself a little bit here. So you start slow, you finish strong. Stretch your chin forward. Inhale and breath, start your kick. As soon as you start your kick, if you have a mirror, take a quick peek, check out your line. You're trying to keep the hips, knees, and feet same line. Two wheels, one base. Best alignment, you roll up to the soft part of the ab, and that's that space between the hip bones and rib cage. Now you look up towards the ceiling where the eyes go. The body will follow, so just look up and kick up as high as you can, and then you change. Nice. Chin touches. Turn the head to the right. Left ear in the towel. Arms by your side. Palms up. So we're going against grabbing that posture as soon as you kick the legs off the floor. You're building up lactic acid in the quad muscles. You can't hold this posture very long. 20 second pose. First 10 seconds, just work on the setup. Setup requires very little energy. Second 10, that's when you work on the strength. So let's try it again. Bend your knees, grab your feet below your toes. Your baby fingers line up with your toes in. Now if you need to, walk the knees closer. Otherwise, stretch your chin forward, inhale in breath, and just start your kick. Nick, take another peek in the mirror again. Check out your feet. Make sure they're on the same line. You can drop the higher one down to meet the lower one. You roll up to the soft part of the abdomen. Now. You're halfway through the posture. From the side, the box like a steeple. Don't rock. Just kick and kick and kick and kick and kick. And then change. Nice posture. Chin touches. Turn the head to the left. Right on the towel. Big toes touch. Heels flop up. Relax. Place your hands on your shoulders, push up off your knees, walk your knees to the top of the towel and set up a fixed firm, supta vidrasana. Grab your water bottle, bring it along with you, go right up to the top of your towel. 
Knees are healthy. Knees touch. Otherwise, open them up. Sit down between the heels. Hips touch the side of the heels. Hips touch the floor. Puts too much pressure in the knees. Open the knees more. Get some water if you like now. So let's set the posture up. Place your hands on the feet, fingers forward. Bend the right elbow, left elbow. Once the elbow's touched, you can drop your head back. Top the head first. Feels okay, you start tucking the chin. The back of it will touch. Tuck the chin more, the shoulders touch. Tuck the chin more, neck flat. Everything feels okay, arms overhead and grab your elbows. And you just breathe into the stretch. Just feel the whole body opening up here from your insteps all the way up through your shoulders and elbows. Try to breathe, try to relax, try to let go here. And then you change. Come on up. Now grab your feet. Use your elbows for support. Come right back up. Spin around. Right back to Savasana as quickly as you can. Least amount of movement in and out of the pose. Arms by your side. Palms face up. The fingers curl. The elbows bend. Heels touch. Toes flop out. Relax. Heart, lungs work together. Toes, heels together, flex your feet, arms overhead, cross your thumbs. Inhaling breath, quick sit up, double exhale, touch the toes, forehead to knee. Shh, shh. Second set, fix firm. Top of the top. If the knees are healthy, let them touch. If you have any knee problems, spread them out. So you'll never test the knees on this one. Sit down between the heels, hips touch the side of the heels, hips also touch the floor. Place your hands on the feet, fingers forward, bend the elbows one at a time. Elbows touch, drop your head back. Top of the head first, back of the head second, shoulders third, neck fourth. Everything feels okay? Arms overhead, grab your elbows. Easy posture for you. Walk those knees closer and closer until they touch. Press the knees down, hips down, shoulders down, elbows down. So now the chest abdomen is rising up. You're creating a little bridge in the lower part of your spine. So just breathe into that stretch. And then you change. Now grab your feet. Use your elbows for support. Come on up. Spin around. Right back to Savasana. Arms by your side, palms up, keep your eyes open, stay present. Toes, heels together, flex your feet, arms overhead, cross your thumbs, inhale in breath, quick sit up, double exhale, touch the toes, forehead to knee. Shh, shh. Adhikamasana, half tortoise. Kneeling position, bottom of your towel. So the knees are together, the feet are together, sitting on your heels, arms overhead side, hands prayer, cross your thumbs, keep your elbows locked, suck your stomach in, tighten up the abdominal wall, and slowly lower down. Remember, ideally, you try to get your forehead to touch the floor first with the hips on the heels. Very nice, Jill. Squeeze your palms together, cross your thumbs, lift the wrists up a little bit if they're not straight. Make sure those elbows are locked out. Chin away from the chest. Let the forehead touch. Maybe the tip of the nose hits the floor. Feel the stretch. Shoulders, deltoids, scapula, hips stay on the heels. Spine stretching both directions. Breathing that stretch. It feels good. And then you change. Come on up. Arms head come up together. Inhale. Arms float down by your side on the exhale. Turn around and relax. Arms by your side. Palms up. On the last posture, we did a back bend. This posture, we're doing a forward bend. So in the last series, we did all back bending. Now this series, we're going to alternate back and forward bends. Toes, heels together. Flex your feet. Arms overhead. Cross your thumbs. Inhale in breath. Quick sit up. Double exhale. Touch the toes. Forehead head to knee. Shh, shh. Second set, half tortoise. Kneeling, bottom of the top. Sit on your heels. Bring your knees together. Arms overhead side. Hands prayer, cross your thumbs, keep your elbows locked, tighten the abdominal wall, slowly lower down. Go even slower. See how long the hips will stay on the heels on this one. Nice control. Squeeze your palms together, cross your thumbs, just lift the wrist up a little bit if they're not straight. Make sure those elbows are locked out. Chin away from the chest. 
Feel the stretch, shoulders, deltoids, scapula, hips stay on the heels. So by pressing the edge of the baby fingers down on the floor, that helps to keep the hips on the heels. So breathing in that stretch, it feels good. And then you change. Come on up. Arms take them up together. Inhale. Arms float down by your side and exhale. Turn around. Right back to the as quickly as you can. Toes, heels together, flex your feet, arms overhead, cross your thumbs, inhaling breath, quick sit up, double exhale, touch the toes, forehead to knee, shh, shh. Ustrasana, camel. Stand up your knees, top of the towel. You can open the knees six inches, feet six inches. Place your hands on the hips, fingers down, thumbs out like you have your hands in your back pockets. Push your hips forward, drop your head back, and slowly lower halfway down, and then you stop. Now, this one just depends on where you're looking. If you're looking halfway on the back wall, go for the heels. If you're looking up the ceiling, stay right there. If you're going for the heels, get a good hand, palm grip. Palm of the heel, thumb out, fingers in. Once you have that grip, then you start pushing the stomach, thighs, hips right back towards the front. Lift the chest up towards the ceiling. You're creating a 360 angle stretch here. Keep pushing forward more, chest up more, hips four more, chest up more, and then change. Nice, hands back on the hips, hips back on the heels. Little light head, a little dizzy. Right back to Savasana as quickly as you can. So this is the deepest back bend in the entire class. Preparing for this one for the last 75 minutes. So the body needs to be well opened up before you attempt this posture. Toes, heels together, flex your feet, arms overhead, cross your thumbs, inhaling breath, quick sit up, double exhale, touch the toes, forehead to knees. Shh, shh. Second set, camel. The knees, if the hips are tight, you can open the knees a little bit more, otherwise the knees stay at six, feet stay at six. Hands on the hips, fingers down, thumbs out. Push your hips forward, drop your head back, slowly lower halfway down and stop. Same thing, looking towards the back wall, go for the heels, looking at the ceiling, stay right there. If you're grabbing the heels, hand palm grip, palm of the heel, thumb out, fingers in. Once you have that grip, you start pushing the stomach, thighs, hips right back towards the mirror, chest up towards the ceiling. Keep pushing forward more, chest up more, hips forward more, chest up more, and then change. Nice. Hands back on the hips, hips on the heels. Right back to Savasana, quickly. Arms by your side, palms up. Toes, heels together, flex your feet, arms overhead, quick sit up, double exhale, touch the toes, forehead to knee. Shh, shh. Rabbit pose, sasangasana now. Kneeling position, so come up high enough in the towel so you can flip the corner of the towel over each heel and then grip the heel over the top. This is the only posture to use any sort of a prop in Bikram Yoga. So you want a nice safe grip on this one, don't take any chances. Tuck your chin into your chest, suck your stomach in, and then you roll forward like a wheel. Forehead's touching the knees, top of the head automatically touches the floor. So there's very little pressure on your head or your neck. You take that pressure off by grabbing those heels tight. Roll forward, let the elbows lock out. Forehead not touching the knees, walk the knees up to meet your forehead. Lift the shoulders away from the ears. Now roll forward like a wheel one more time. And then you change, pull back on the heels on the way back, up. Head comes up last, and then turn around and relax. So camel pose, deepest back bend the entire class. Rabbit pose, deepest forward bend. Toes, heels together. Flex your feet, arms overhead. Cross your thumbs, inhaling breath. Quick sit up, double exhale. Touch the toes, forehead to knees. Second set, rabbit. Flip the corner of the towel over each heel. Grip the heel over the towel. Tuck your chin into your chest. Suck your stomach in. Roll forward. Forehead's touching the knees. Top of the head automatically touches the floor. Eyes are open. Throat's choked. Hard to breathe. Throat's a passageway here. So pull on the heels. Take the weight off the head and neck. 
most of the weight you keep in the knees and the feet. So pull on those heels, keep going. One day thighs perpendicular to the floor, so roll forward like a wheel one more time here, and then change. Nice postures. Come on up. Pull on the heels on the way up. Turn around, relax. Right back to Savasana. Arms by your side, palms up. Toes, heels together, flex your feet, arms overhead, cross your thumbs, inhaling breath, quick sit up, double exhale, touch the toes, we're head to knee. Shh, shh. Head to knee, we're stretching now, spin around, face front. Bring your right leg out to the corner of your towel, bend your left knee, bring your foot to inner right thigh, so the outside of the legs forms a perfect 90 degree angle. Arms overhead, interlock grip, quarter turn right, reach down and grab your right foot. So there's two things you must do here, forehead on the knee, interlock grip below the toe. So you bend that right knee up as much as you need to so that can happen. Now on this side, you roll that left shoulder down and in so the shoulders are in line. Then you start to use your head to push that knee back down. Slide the heel out. Pull the toes back. Work those elbows down. Knee locks out. Heel comes up off the floor. And then change. Nice. Let's try the left side now. Left leg out. Right leg in. Arms overhead. Interlock grip. Quarter turn left. Grab your left foot. Forehead on the knee, interlock grip below your toe. So that's your start. Bend that knee as much as you need to. Make it happen. Now roll that right shoulder down a little bit so the shoulders are in line. Start to use your head. Push that knee back down. Kick that heel out. Pull the toes back. Work the elbows down. Feel that stretch on the leg. Keep going. One more chance here. And then change. Nice. Bring your feet back together. Do a quick sit up. Just touch down. Come right back up. And grab your big toes with your first two fingers. Little cry chop between big toe, second toe. And walk your hips back five, ten times until there's no gaps underneath the knees. Feet are flat to the mirror. Those toes are trying to curl in. Straighten them out. Step on the mirror. Leave your footprint. Flat spine, not rounded. So lift the chest up on the inhale. On the exhale, bring your chest forward. Stomach on the thighs, chest on the knees. A more tangible goal, try to touch your forehead down to your thumbs. If you can touch the thumbs, go for the first knuckle. Still touch and go for the second knuckle. Elbows hit the floor. Start to use more of that bicep strength. Get the elbows out of the way. Drop your head down. Get your thumbs away. Top of the head. Touch the big toes at the very end to this one. And then change. Nice. Spin around. Feet to the back wall. Toes, heels together, flex your feet, arms overhead, cross your thumbs, inhaling breath, quick sit up, double exhale, touch the toes, forehead head to knee. Shh, shh. Second set, spin around. Right leg out corner. Bend the left knee, bring the foot in the thigh. Arms overhead, interlock grip, quarter turn right, grab your right foot. Forehead on the knee, interlock grip below the toes. Second set, always a little bit more open up, we're always trying to go a little bit deeper. So slide that heel out, pull the toes back, get that left shoulder down and in. Feel the stretch in the leg, little cramp top of the thigh, that'd be normal here. Start working those elbows down. If you can get that knee to lock out, try to get that heel off the floor and then change. Nice, left side. Left leg out, right leg in. Quarter turn left, grab your left foot. Forehead on the knee, interlock grip below the toes. So this is like standing head to knee, the first one, without the balance. Chance to practice the posture without falling over all the time. So kick that heel out, pull the toes back, work those elbows down, knee locks out, heel comes up off the floor at the very end, and then change. Excellent. Bring your feet back together. Quick sit up. Touch down, come right back up. And grab your big toes. Karate chop between the toes, walk your hips back five, ten times, no gaps underneath the knees, flat spine. Lift the chest up on the inhale. On the exhale, bring your chest forward. Second set, a little bit more open up. We're always trying to go a little bit deeper here. So keep pulling those toes back. See if the heels will come up off the floor. If the elbows hit, bring them out to the side. Start to use more of that bicep strength now. You're getting very close to the end of this posture now. Just keep pulling those toes back. Inhaling breath. Now drop the head down. Get the thumbs away. Top of the head, touch the big toes at the very end here. And then you change. Nice. Spin around. 
feet to the back wall. Arms by your side, palms face up. Toes, heels together, flex your feet, arms overhead, cross your thumbs, inhaling breath, quick sit up, double exhale, touch the toes, forehead head to knees. Out of Matsundrasana, spine twist. So turn 90 degrees to your right, face the side, bend the left knee, point it towards the side. Right foot up and over, reach down and grab your right knee, excuse me, right arm behind you, left arm, where, where are we here? Right arm behind you, close to the spine, fingers face out, right arm's like a kickstand. Left arm up and over, reach down, grab your left knee with your left hand. So you take a quick peek, wrist, knee, ankle should be in the same spot. Good. Chin over your right shoulder now. So if you need to, stay right there. As you advance in this posture, eventually you're going to wrap that right arm behind you and grab your thigh. Chin over your right shoulder, sit up nice and straight, both sits bones on the floor. Now just suck your stomach in, give it a real good twist at the very end. And then you change. Let's try the other side. Bend the right knee. Bring your left foot over right knee corner. Again, make sure both hips touch the floor. Left hand behind you, close to the spine, fingers face out. Right arm up and over, reach down, grab your right knee, right hand. So again, take a quick peek. Wrist, knee, ankle should be in the same location. Chin over your left shoulder now. So same thing here. If you need to, left hand's right where it is. Otherwise, try to wrap it behind you, try to find your thigh. That's nice. Chin over your left shoulder. Profile the face of the front mirrors, the joints of each and every vertebra twisting open like a pearl knuckle. So twist and twist and twist and twist and twist, and then you change. Good. Feet to the back wall. Arms by your side, palms up. One more setup. Make it your best. Toes, heels together. Flex your feet. Arms overhead. Quick sit up. Double exhale. Touch the toes. Forehead head to knees. We start with breathing. We finish with breathing. Couple about you breathing now. Blowing in firm. Sit down. Kneeling position. Cross leg position. Whatever is more comfortable. Two sets of breathing. One slow. One fast. So imagine you're blowing out candles on your birthday cake all the way across the room. So it's a short, sharp breath. You snap the belly on the exhale. The inhales will happen automatically. So let me start the count. When you find that pace, just jump in. Inhaling breath. Five, four, three, two, one. Second set, a little bit quicker, a little bit stronger. So sit up nice and straight. Hands stay on the knees, the elbows are locked out. Swallow a couple times. Wet your lips, inhaling breath. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Spend a couple of final minutes in Savasana if you can. So if you'd like at home, just dim the lights. You can close your eyes, have some water. Just relax for a few minutes. We'll have a nice little guided relaxation. So relax your toes, your insteps, your heels, your ankles. Relax your calves, your shins, your knees. Relax your thighs and hips. Relax your fingers, palms, wrists, forearms, elbows, biceps, triceps. Relax the lower spine, the middle spine, the upper spine. Relax all your internal organs. Relax the chest, rib cage, shoulders. Relax your neck, jaw, teeth, mouth, gums, tongue, throat. Relax your ears, cheeks, and nose. Relax your eyes, eyebrows, eyelids, eyelashes. Relax your forehead, back of your head, top of your head, 
and relax your mind. Thank you for your time, your effort, your hard work today. Enjoy the rest of it. Hope to see you all very soon. Namaste.